Good afternoon, everyone. The topic that was given to me is what they think about us. What do people outside of church think about Adventist church here in North America? I'm going to be sharing with you some of the findings from the recent survey that we did in 2021. We asked the Gallup in 2021 to conduct a major national survey on how Americans see Adventist church in terms of brand awareness, religion, interests, and values. More than 4,000 adults participated in this survey. This survey was done with people living in the United States. I'd like to share some of their fascinating findings with you today, along with some other data we have on this topic. That is, how do people think about us? This survey first asked this group of people how familiar or unfamiliar they are with our church. This metric of familiar versus unfamiliar is more precise way of measuring us than asking them whether they are aware of Adventist or Adventist church. In other words, one may not be familiar with the Adventist church, though they may be aware of our existence or who we are. Okay, 1% of them indicate that they are extremely familiar with our church and 4% says they are very familiar with our church. Since a handful of Adventists participate in this survey by random selection process, we think that most of these 1% are from within the church. That means that only 5% of American adults are telling us that they are being extremely or very familiar with the Adventist, with another 27% somewhat familiar. Altogether, 32% of Americans are saying that they are familiar with our church with varying degrees. This chart also shows 40% of them saying that they are not very familiar with our church, with 28% not familiar at all. So altogether, 68% of Americans say they are not very familiar or not familiar at all. In other words, if you have a 10 people in the room, only three are familiar with our church, while seven are not familiar with the Seventh-day Adventist church. Gallup asked them whether they personally know anyone who is a member of our church. 20% of Americans responded that they know someone who is a member of Adventist church. In other words, one in five Americans knows someone personally who is an Adventist. The church did a survey with Gallup both in 1970 and 1986, respectively. Gallup used a different approach back then. Instead of the familiarity versus unfamiliarity, they used the metric of awareness. 65% of adults said they were aware of our church in 1970. And in 1986, 70% of them said positively. You may wonder why we have this dramatic drop between 1986 study and 2021 study. It is primarily due to different metrics that are being used here. Awareness does not necessarily mean familiarity. Okay, now let's move to the, uh, to the topic of favorable versus unfavorable ratio. In terms of favorable versus unfavorable rating scales, 42% of, of Americans are willing to give an opinion of Seventh-day Adventists. That is somewhat higher than the 32% who say they are familiar with the church. Another 22% say they have never heard of Seventh-day Adventist church or have heard of it but have no opinion, along with a relatively large group of 33% who choose the neutral category. What this means is this, about an estimate of 30 to 40% of Americans are familiar or know enough to have an opinion on our church. The rest either have a vague notion of the church or no opinion at all. Now, let's take a look at how Americans see Adventist church in terms of favorability. 
This chart shows how favorable or unfavorable Americans are toward the Seventh-day Adventist Church. As you see here in this chart, their attitudes toward the Seventh-day Adventist Church are more negative than positive. 8% of Americans have a favorable opinion about us compared to 34% with an unfavorable view. So there is a difference of 26% between favorable and unfavorable ratio. Gallup analysis are telling us that this net minus 26% ratio is not unusual for religious groups in the United States among those who participate in these surveys. Yet we feel that we have many hard works to do in the future in this regard. As you can see here in this chart, nine of the 17 religious groups tested in this research, including our church, have a net negative image. We find ourselves in the lower half of the group, but not at the bottom end. What is interesting to observe is that we have less unfavorable rating than evangelical Protestants by 7%. Where we are weak is in how favorable we are to Americans. Ours is only at 8%, while evangelical Protestants are at 19%. Among Americans who participate in this survey, eight of the religious entities are viewed more positively than negatively. Their positive ranges are anywhere between 29% and 3%. We are on the negative side. This is one metric we can use to measure whether we are successful in our branding efforts. We'd like to see us on the positive side than the negative side on this chart. Let's move to the area of image. Not surprisingly, the most frequently occurring words when Americans are asked their top of the mind image of our church are Saturday and Sabbath. This is regardless of the level of their familiarity or a favorable versus unfavorable image of the church. Our doctrine of Saturday worship clearly comprises a significant component of Americans' image of our church. We need to find ways to maximize this image within the context of the contemporary society. Yes, Sabbath has its perennial doctrinal significance in our faith. At the same time, if presented in ways that address the needs of contemporary society, it could be much more impactful than it is now. We got to engage various discussions about how to bring the message and significance of Sabbath to the 21st century American society. If we go back to the both 1970 and 1986 study done by Gallup, we see the same image of our church portrayed to the eyes of the American public as we see in the recent 2021 studies. Let's pause here to see what kind of responses we received from the 1970 and 1986 surveys on this topic respectively. In the 1970 study, we see people appreciated us being loyal to our church and missionary activities we were engaged in. In the 1986 study, we see people still appreciating our strong faith and our moral character. They also like us in seeing us helping the neighbors. However, vast majority of people did not form any opinion about us. About us. Let's, get, let's go back to the 2021 study. Among those extremely who are very familiar with the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the following words were used to describe our church. Christ, Jesus, cult, vegetarian, Ellen, food, restriction, white. We are happy to see that besides Sabbath, two words mostly associated with us are Christ and Jesus. I believe we have been successful in letting people outside of the church see that our faith is centered around Jesus Christ. Among those with an unfavorable opinion of the Adventist church, the following words were frequently mentioned about our church. Cult, strict, 
conservative and evangelical, vegetarian, and rules. We may not agree with some of the words associated with us. What this list shows is the area that we need to work hard to have a better image here in North America. Let's briefly go back to where we were in 1970 and 1986, respectively in this regard. In the 1970 study, American public were saying to us that they don't like the mass, our methods of converting members. And we were portrayed as old-fashioned, narrow-minded. In the study done in 1986, we see 8% of people not liking us because of our religious beliefs or aggressiveness in our approach of evangelism. This aggressiveness may reflect the practice that we used to have in the past. It is probably safe to say that that is no longer the case. Let's go back to 2021 study as I closed my presentation. The 2021 survey finds that the themes of wholeness and developing a sense of hope have significant appeal to Americans based on their personal importance as well as in terms of their appeal if emphasized by a church. In other words, our mission statement that is to reach North America and the world with our distinctive Christ-centered message of hope and wholeness is well crafted and right on target. We just need to find the better and effective ways to make it a reality in our community. Gallup also tested several positioning associated with the Seventh-day Adventist Church on a blinded basis in the research. Those that engender particularly positive responses include an emphasis on physical health, diet, and spiritual health, an emphasis on wholeness, completion, and purpose in life, an emphasis on a connection with the healthcare organization, an emphasis on the Bible as the holy written word of God. These are the areas that people are interested in these days, as you can see, we have so many potential strengths in us. These strengths can be effectively used in reaching out our target audience. When we maximize these potentials in our approach, our churches are going to find themselves much closer to people outside of, outside of the church and filled with people finding the meaning of their life on this earth. These surveys that we conducted shows that we have work to do in terms of our brand awareness. At the same time, this survey also shows that we are on the right track in terms of our mission. Our mission statement, emphasizing hope and wholeness, strikes a chord among Americans. We need to find better ways to maximize our strengths, thereby bringing our message of hope and wholeness closer to millions of people here across North America. We are Seventh-day Adventists. We love this church. We want to see the message of this church more widely embraced by people